James Kaufman will news report today. Today is October 1st, 2023, 1.30 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We've had a large solar flare, an M2.48 or 2.5 class solar flare pop off almost directly earth facing. At first, it was thought to have come from Sunspot AR-3451. Since then, they've named a sunspot directly next to that sunspot and called it 3452. To me, they look like one sunspot, but I'm going to let you guys decide. To spaceweather.com, they're one sunspot as well. However, NOAA and NASA have now again named them as separate sunspots that are barely separated by anything at all. Spaceweather.com has an article. There could be some solar flares. Solar flares are going off like popcorn in the magnetic canopy of new Sunspot AR-3451. Now, this is a mistake, as you will soon see. The strongest so far is the M2.5 class explosion recorded by NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory during the early hours of October 1st. The sunspot didn't even exist 24 hours ago. Wait until you see what really caused the explosion. Since then, it has grown more than a dozen dark cores, two of them whiter than Earth. Magnetic maps of the sunspot are not fully definitive because it is facing away from Earth. However, the sunspot appears to have a mixed polarity, delta class, magnetic configuration that harbors energy for, you guessed it, very strong solar flares. Now, as you can see here, we've had a new sunspot, AR3452, and that is where the larger M2.48 M2.5 solar flare actually erupted from. You can see that it's actually continuing to flare down here and did so beforehand as well. 3451 is more complex, i.e. it appears in orange and it is responsible for a lot of the sea flaring but no major flares thus far today. Alright, there they are. They are 3451 and 3452 that they've just added to the chart. Spaceweather.com did get it wrong, but I don't know if that sunspot was added yet or not. You can see that it looks like one large sunspot region, but again, they've actually added AR3452 and claimed that the M flare was originated from that sunspot group separate from AR3451. Lots of Earth-facing sunspots currently. The, thus far, we've had really good luck. We'll take a look at those sunspot groups here as they come around. First on the left here, 193 angstroms. You can see how hyperactive they are. They're constantly popping off flares. Some action down here as well. And probably one of these latest flares that you see here, uh, were the M2.5. See if we can see it at 171 angstroms any better. Here they come. Lots of activity. CM, CM, CM. And it's hard to tell exactly which flare was the biggest. But we know that all the flares being originated right now are coming from that little area. Although we did see some action. Uh, well, out of the earth facing sunspot here. And somewhere down here, see if we can find that again. There it was right there. So what we'll do is we'll go back and see what those two sunspots are as well. And those two sunspots are AR3450. Definitely saw some action out of that. And AR3448. Both earth facing but with sea flares this go around. If I were you, I would be expecting large M flares the rest of the week based on those two sunspots that are continuing to grow running a C plus baseline here and I think that will maintain as well with those sunspots continuing to flare even if it's in the C range again expect 
more M flares and perhaps even an X flare from those two sunspots, AR3451 and AR3452, probably within the next few days, if not even today. God bless you guys. Share, subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.